What's up guys, got another video review for you. This time we're taking a quick look at the Repro label set for um, iGear's UFO figure. Um, real quick, I actually just broke the stand that he came with. I went to go take him off the stand and the part that connects from here to the stand broke. It was held on by the like tiniest itty bitty 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 thin piece of plastic. And it's been fine for, you know, I've taken him off five, six, seven times over the course of weeks and it was fine and then I just pulled it straight out and as soon as I, as soon as I touched it I felt it was loose and I knew that was it but uh, what are you gonna do it was a pretty crappy piece of plastic anyway no big deal um, so yeah so just like Hench I got the Reaper label set for this guy I wanted to show it off so first of all you can see the split Autobot logo on the top there one goes on each side of the leg and then it forms the full symbol. Um, also, we got these little gold spots. There was actually these two on each side were yellow. And now we have gold all the way around on each side. Pretty cool. Um, we got some alien writing. That's just little accents on the hinges up here. Um, the vents now glow with this metallic blue and silver. So it looks very nice. Very cool. Um, this is another set that's mostly just little accents. So yeah, let's get him into robot mode real quick. He's a fast one, so all of a sudden this foot does not want to come out. I also almost cut myself on the fin. Remember I told you the fin was really sharp? It went like that and I scraped my hand right there actually. That's just from scraping the just the top of it. It actually did break the skin. It didn't bleed though. So real quick, almost done. Like I said, be careful of that fin. So yeah, there we go. He's in robot mode. So as you can see. The only difference now in robot mode, besides you can see the fins on the front of his legs, is the chest. So if we just take a quick look at the chest. Um, it did come with two sets of stickers, the G1 Toy Accurate call it, stickers and the Show Accurate stickers. Um, usually in that situation I will go for the Show Accurate. So we just have, uh, this was all just silver bits underneath, underneath there and just gives a little bit. Uh, these blue stickers and the Autobot logo. And that's the only thing that goes on robot mode. That's different than vehicle mode. See him back. Not much different. You just see all the accents from the vehicle mode. So yeah, that's just a real quick update uh, on this guy and the repro labels. If you have this guy, I highly suggest getting the repro labels. Um, same thing with Hench. I think Hench is gives it more of a, you know, they're more necessary. It makes the windows look really cool. Um, it's got the um, the chests and the stomach stickers that make it, you know, more G1 accurate. Um, obviously, whoops, these stickers make it more G1 accurate, but they're a little, they're a lot more subtle. But I mean, just the, I like, I kind of like the subtle stickers a little bit more than I like the big honking overhaul in stickers. Like they do, um, sometimes they do that to to like bigger figures, they just make their own stickers and they cover the whole thing and they do all kinds of wacky things. I keep knocking this guy over. So sometimes that's cool, you know, for certain figures, but I kind of, I think I kind of dig the more subtle stickers a little bit better. I don't like having everything stay. I don't like having everything, you know, like big and loud. I kind of like the subtle a little bit better. But I highly suggest if you get, if you do have this guy or you plan on getting him to get the repro labels. Um, he also does come with sea sprays stickers on the same sheet, um, but I don't own sea spray. I have Make Toy Make Toys sea spray, so I'm going to be sending those stickers off to a friend, uh, Pegasus. So he's going to be getting those. So yeah, if you do have him, I highly suggest picking up these stickers. Same thing with Hench. So yeah, this has been the video review for Repro Labels for iGear's uh, UFO. 
aka Classics Cosmos.